previously on Yes, It's Me Tools. I have just received an email that I am going to be doing another campaign with Disney+. Plus. All right, here we go. I have all the ingredients to make the TikTok viral cucumber salad done by Logan. Let's go. good damn mm. what is up beautiful people now people always stop me in the street and they say to me hey aren't you and i say yes it's me tools thank you so much for tuning into my youtube channel baby if you're a returning subscriber welcome back t squad and if you want to be a part of the t squad all you got to do is hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel because it's fun and it's free to subscribe you don't have to pay any subscription costs to be a part of the t squad family i'm in such a great mood because today i am attending an event with my friends at Disney, Disney Plus. We are celebrating the Airstream again. Uh, you would know if you are a long time subscriber to this channel that I did a campaign with them last year to um, celebrate the Airstream that you can do your Kardashian confessionals in and it goes all over South Africa. So they're doing an event today which I think is going to be fantastic um, and I'm shooting a campaign at the event. So I'm super excited for it. I think it's going to be fun. You know, all things Kardashians, even though some of you think that I don't like the Kardashians, I treat them like my s sisters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy that Disney Plus has asked me to be a part of this campaign again and just be a just doing stuff with them. I just really really love the Disney Plus family and realm and all things Disney Plus. Uh, what I do want to watch that is on the platform is In Vogue 90s. It is a series about uh, Vogue magazine in the 90s and it has interviews with everyone from Missy Elliott to Tom Ford to Anna Wintour, uh, Naomi Campbell so uh, that sh looks very very interesting and then S Sisters of the Mormon there's another uh, reality TV series which is all over my Twitter people are talking about it non-stop so I need to get into that uh, this week and yeah super super excited about that it's about the mormon wives so um that should be very very interesting there's something i'm missing i feel like i'm missing something but uh there are a couple of shows that won emmys and the bear outdid its own record of winning emmys the other night uh, on sunday night and yeah, so that's also on uh, Disney Plus, and also Shogun uh, is on Disney Plus. So yeah, that should be good. And they also won uh, a couple of Emmys. So yeah, it's just an Emmy Award platform. We love to see it. I'm excited for today. Hopefully, it's not too hot, so I don't sweat in my clothing. And. We have a great time. I'm excited to see everyone. Uh, yeah. And I'm so happy that I'm working with Tilt because 
uh, they have allocated me Levi, who I've worked with many times uh, when we do any work together. So I'm super excited about that. So it will make my life so much easier. I just love that when um, Brand has allocated me someone to edit and shoot, etc. All I need to do is be talent, which I love. <laughs> Talent walking, talent walking. <laughs> I'm with Levi, who did the most amazing Disney summer shoot last year. You would have seen in the vlogs uh, last year how amazing they were. So we're back at it again, and I don't have to edit. I'm so excited. <laughs> That's Levi's problem. <laughs> okay, and let's, let me show you the all new leveled up Airstream. Thank you so much, babes. Thank Where you. Where can people find you, Ziggy? Hashtag at Ziggy Makeup, S I G I. Okay. Duck Makeup. Okay. Yes. Thank I'll, you. I'll link it down all below. We yeah. are rocking yes. today. Yes. Thank you. Can you just look at my face, you guys? Uh, and she did this in like five minutes. A five minute glam. I love it. You were rocking already. Thank you. Whatever. It's Fashion Week. <laughs> All episodes of all seasons of the Kardashians now streaming on Disney Plus. Come enjoy the Kardashians experience. And we're back to our regu regular scheduled viewing. I am in my bathroom because I'm just going to remove my makeup before I go to Pilates. Um, I know it's, I mean, it's not a lot of makeup, but I'm not used to wearing makeup, so yeah. I don't want to sweat, and then makeup is running in the middle of Pilates, and I look like a mess. Okay, she didn't put on a lot. That's amazing. And uh, let me just use this cleanser. Um, this is a makeup uh, remover, but it's also a oil to foam cleanser from Dermalogica, so it doubles up. It's both cleanser and makeup remover. Don't we just love that? Oil to foam. Ooh. 
Today was so much fun. I really, really enjoyed this experience that Disney Plus did. It was super fun. And yeah, so make sure you follow Disney Plus on their socials to find out where the Kardashians experience will be. So, as I said to you, I had already done the uh, campaign with Disney for this experience. So, they're doing it again, but it's leveled up and it's looking amazing. So, um, I hope you get a chance to see it this summer. Because it's really cool, you know, you can get your glam done, you can get... You can go, do your confessional, um, take photos. It's going to be amazing. So, yeah, uh, do that. I really, really also love that I have this beautiful relationship with Disney Plus. Um, I mean, I do watch a lot of content on the platform. And, yeah, one of the best reality shows that you need to watch is Grand Cayman Island and it's a bunch of expats and um, locals to the Cayman Islands. One of the locals is Salita Ebanks. Salita Ebanks is used to be a Victoria's Secret model and I met her at the Cannes Film Festival and I started posting about the Grand Cayman Islands and then she started following me on Instagram. I'm like, what? This woman, ah, girl. So it was just a bit surreal when I found that out. Okay, makeup off. And then let's get to Pilates. I feel like I've been locked up to the century of Salad and ready to make dinner. I literally got the easiest meal to make because I didn't feel like, you know, slaving away at the kitchen. So uh, we're going to my usual of barbecue crumb chicken. I normally get the normal one, but I felt like the barbecue crumbed one today, well, for this week. And yeah, because I do enjoy it. Today was actually really super fun um, shooting with uh, Levi. It was really, really good time. Um, I'm just glad I don't have to edit. <laughs> and um, all I will get is the final product and from the team, and which is going to be approved by client. And th that's it. I just need to post it with a caption. We love that. I'm so happy about that. Tonight, I also want to try implement a nighttime routine and just see how it will impact my sleep and how I will wake up tomorrow morning. I just want to see how that really is because, you know, I've heard that when you have a good nighttime routine, then you have a good day, you have a good morning routine. So, yeah. And what I want to do is just tidy up the apartment and read, no electronics. I need to be realistic because I go to bed very, very late. I'll tell you that. And <laughs> so I'm going to do the no electronics from about... 30 or 11 like I'm going to start from there doing 
no electronics, cleaning. Um, I already did my skincare before today, so I'll do that tomorrow. And tea. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes and see how my morning is tomorrow. The show that I was telling you about that's on Disney Plus is called The Secret Wives. No, wait. The Secret Secret Lives of Mormon Wives. So we know that the Mormon society is on another tip. It's very bizarre and they're based in Utah and Salt Lake City. So, um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what that's all about. So I'm going to probably check out an episode tonight. Uh, although I do need to edit. I seriously need to edit and just do a little bit of work. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out before the cut of time that I need to start my nighttime routine. And if you have any suggestions or any recommendations for what to do during a nighttime routine, please comment down below. I'd really love to know what uh, you do so that maybe I can incorporate it into my routine and morning routine. Uh, although I have that kind of waxed. But yeah, I'd love to know what you do. Okay. I have to be honest. But... Promise you won't judge me. Please promise that you won't judge me. We are friends here. Right? I love you. You love me. But just don't judge me right now. I poured myself a glass of wine. The southern right is right here. And I was like, you know what? Just one glass. And yeah. That's it. I'm not going to have more. And I won't. I, I promise I won't. But just one glass for dinner. I don't think that's a problem, right? Like, there are some vices that I will... can't just go cold turkey <laughs> with this whole thing. So, <laughs> don't judge. Please don't judge. I'm just having one glass, okay? Cheers. Cheers. You bought me a drink, so I bought you a drink. Cheers. You bought me a drink, so I bought you a drink. Cheers. I don't know if I said it in my head or I said it in the vl vlog yesterday, but in my, it was in my head to buy tickets to go to Jam Jackson performing at DSTV Delicious Festival. Then, what's today? Tuesday. Yesterday, the news broke that her brother, Tito, passed away, which is absolutely horrible, you know? He, there was rumors that it was a heart attack. And I was like, I don't think she's going to perform. I mean, of course, rightfully so. She's mourning, you know. So the announcement has just been made that she's not coming to South Africa. So, which is upsetting for those who've already bought tickets. There's people that are in the comment section of DSTV Delicious saying that there should be refunds given. Um, or Jill Scott must play twice. Uh, yeah, so, yo, it's, I'd hate to be the organizers right now of DSTV Delicious. I mean, they've had a bad rep, a very, very bad rep of late, but, um, thank goodness I didn't spend a thousand rand on tickets, because that's who I was only going to go see, you know? So, but... Our prayers and condolences go out to the Jackson family. Yo, that poor mom bearing her second child. Oh, you know, there's something that my dad said to me once, which always struck a nerve, was 
that you as a parent should never bury your child. It should happen the other way around. And then I was like, yeah, you know what? You're so right. So, um, yeah. Oh, very, very sad. Um, yeah. Okay. Dinner is now served. This may No joke, I think that could have been one of the best sleeps I've had in a long time. Oh, good morning. Hi. So, after doing my nighttime routine last night, okay, a couple of things. <laughs> um, I love that I could almost take... Uh, there goes my alarm. Um, that I could take some time out while cleaning my apartment to just reflect on the day. I think it was a nice way and a therapeutic way while washing dishes to, you know, just reflect on the day and uh, what a great day I had. I did have a great day yesterday um, and I enjoyed that. I didn't feel the need to pick up my phone, you know, I think there was one time where I was like, oh, what is, I wanted to check the time, and then I realized, oh, I had switched my phone off, and then I was like, oh, by the way, um, but then I obviously asked my smart home system what the phone, what the time was, and then I also had music, lo-fi, chilled music playing, um, while the rain was uh, was outside, oh, it it was actually really pleasant, you know. And I think the fact that I went to bed knowing that the apartment's tidy and clean, I'm gonna wake up to a clean environment, made you know just a little part of me very much at ease. I also enjoyed, you know, reading. Uh, you know, taking some time out, having some tea, lighting a candle. You know, it's just simple things like that, which I really, really enjoyed. And I thought it was, yeah, very conducive to winding down and 
uh, having a good night's sleep. I think one thing I will add is journaling. I didn't journal last night because I didn't start it in the morning. So um, I'm going to start, I'm going to do a, a journal entry this morning. I haven't touched my phone as of yet. So we'll see what the screen time is like. Because I used to be the person that would go to bed on my phone. Wherever I'm walking, on my phone. Scrolling, doing something social media wise. It wasn't even like uh, listening to a podcast that is, you know, helping, you know. It was doom scrolling. Well, not doom scrolling because I don't subscribe or f- view or watch anything that is bringing me down or negative so I, I don't i don't do the doom scrolling thing but you know having that much screen time and then you start getting into a rabbit hole of you you read something here then you want to go find out more about it da, 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 then you in a rabbit hole of tiktok of how these two people are now feuding and fighting and what it's like what the hell and then it's 2 a.m <laughs> so um yeah let's see how long i can keep this up but i will say that it has really helped me waking up fresher and i really hope i can stick to it uh yeah yeah i feel so good waking up after a good night's rest i had a good night's rest even though i went to bed late i think i went to bed after midnight So what I want to do is just move up the wind down period uh, 30 minutes earlier because I started it at 10.30. So I just want to st- start it at 10 and see how it goes. So yeah, oh, I'm actually very excited and very happy. Um, and I think the no alcohol, you know, just even though I had one glass has helped towards that. So to wake up fresh, you know. Okay, and then we will start with the morning routine. So, yeah. Yay! Good morning. Hi guys, pretty like a girl, and he got five stories to tell. I see both sides like Chanel. See on both sides like Chanel. Swimming like through pool water, eating like I'm underwater. Had my tattoos and Shibuya. Police think I'm out the fucking world. Why treat a nigga like he twelve? How you looking up to me and talking down? Don't you see I am the big man? Dior was so kind enough to send through their new Sauvage non-alcohol Eau Forte Eau Forte Parfum uh, It's based on water and uh, like a waterfall, Sauvage Eau Forte delivers freshness and intensity. So, yeah, there's, it's alcohol free. That's what I wanted to say. Sorry, that's the correct terminology. Um, I do have the cleanser and I do have the serum and toner, which is quite nice when you are doing skincare that it's all from the same family and it smells the same, you know what I mean? Yeah, this I, I know the scent from Sauvage. But it's nice that it's alcohol free. We love that. Thank you so much, Dior. J'adore Dior. Uh, love that. I will definitely be using her. And along with other products that they sent me. Okay, time for some coffee. The true test for the nighttime routine will be when I go out for dinner and I'm having a few drinks. Will I come home and still implement that nighttime routine? Will I be strict on it uh, with the winding down? We'll see. Uh, window. Yeah, but we'll see when that happens. <laughs> oh, you see, I love a clean kitchen. This makes me very happy. 
Okay, I know that these are iced, but I think I'm gonna do watermelon today as a hot Nespresso. Yeah, don't get angry with me. I don't have the other capsules to make warm, like traditionally warm, but these are still fine to use as warm drinks. Are you like me? Like for me, I don't dr eat like a full breakfast. It's very rare where I'll eat like a full on breakfast in the morning. I'll have a coffee and I'll have like a muffin or something. I need to have a snack with my coffee. I can't just have my coffee plain. So it's either, either a croissant or a, a little something summit. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not going to be making, although I really, what was I watching? Oh, I was watching a vlogger in New York City and she had a bagel, uh, egg and bacon bagel. Oh, it looked, it, oh, egg, bacon and cheese. Oh, so good. I don't feel like waking up and making a full on breakfast. You know what I mean? I'm just happy with my juicy watermelon double espresso. Think about me, think about you, think about juicy watermelon espresso. <laughs> guys, I can't believe you guys watch the nonsense that I get up to and the things that I do and the things that I say. <laughs> really. <laughs> but I appreciate that you're here. I appreciate that you put up with my crazy. And I'm glad that you enjoy the vlogs. Really, I do. And if you could, I would really, really appreciate it if you just subscribe. And maybe if it's it's a, a big commitment to subscribe, I understand that. Um, I don't subscribe to everyone that I see. Um, I want my uh, YouTube to be curated nicely. So, and maybe it's the first time that we're meeting. So, it might take a bit of you know time for us to warm up to one another, and that's okay. I I appreciate that. But um, if you are enjoying this vlog, please do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button. You can do it on your television. You can do it wherever, whatever your device. It's just wherever you see the thumbs up button, I would really appreciate you doing that. Yeah. You want to grow this channel? Well, I want to grow this channel and this family. Um, it's one of the most supportive platforms that I have. And I truly appreciate everyone that you know watches comments like i have a backlog of comments that i need to get through and i will get through them it's a long weekend coming up and i will definitely get through all of that ladies and gentlemen boys and girls can i tell you i am sitting at my desk an hour earlier than i normally sit at my desk Yane, this new routine that I've got going on, it makes me feel productive, it makes me feel great, it makes me feel good that I'm going to get the, the um, day accomplished. Oh, you know what I haven't done, this journal. And how convenient, it's right here. Aha. I'm going to do that right now, enjoy my coffee, before I actually sit down and do some work. Uh, but before I do that, I want to tell you that Christina Aguilera, you know, Miss Aguilera, who in the past was Britney's rival, she announced that she is releasing a new live album along with Spotify. And I don't know if it's like uh, um, new reworked songs from her debut album because it's the 25th anniversary of her album, Christina Aguilera. And yeah, so it's the 25th anniversary and she's, she's just announced that she's re-releasing an album on the 23rd, which is 
in a couple of days. So, which is super exciting. Um, I, when I saw the announcement, then I started listening to her debut album, uh, and what a masterpiece it is. It really, really is. It's very R&B, which I, I remember. I was like, listening to it, and I was like, yo, this is giving me back, this is bringing back so many memories. Oh, by the way, this is the Spotify spot. I always plug you with music that I'm listening to or a podcast that I'm listening to and enjoying. And, you know, then I link it down below and then you can enjoy it. So, yeah, so this is the segment of the vlog I always like to call the Spotify spot. So, I mean, I go way back with that album. I mean, you probably do as well. What a girl wants, what a girl needs. Come on over, come on over, baby. Come on over, come. If you want to be with me, baby, there's a price to pay. I'm a genie in a bottle. You got to rub me the right way. Oh, unbelievable. Incredible, incredible. Like, those three top hits. Like, everybody knows from Christina Aguilera. I mean, there's also I Turn To You. And one of my uh, favorites is Somebody, somebody. Somebody, somebody. I, yeah. When she came onto the scene, I was obsessed with her. Uh, like any gay kid was at that time. And it was always a rival between Britney Spears and... Christina Aguilera, and I always loved Christina a lot more than I love Britney. Uh, but now I I love them equally, even though Britney is not in a good state, but we're not talking about that. Uh, we're talking about Christina Aguilera, uh, who is skinny links now, who is skinny, skinty. And I think she's at the stage of her, of her life where she doesn't really give a fuck, and I love that. And I know that she was a bitch back in the day. She was totally a bitch back in the day. And she was a mean girl to all the other Mickey Mouse uh, kids, etc. Uh, and also growing up, there's always been rumors of her, you know, being a bitch. But now, Jojo also just came out recently and said that Christina Aguilera was unpleasant to her when uh, they met for the first time. And... Because she's got a book. She says this. She mentions this in her new book. Jojo's book. And the internet is not having it. Because it's like. Why bring up beef from 20 foot sec? Especially when you have been to. Uh, Christina Aguilera's Latin uh, album launch party. You've worn Christina Aguilera t-shirts. So you said that the first time that you met Christina Aguilera. She was a bitch to you. Hence, you have supported her. You've sung a cappella on lives to her. Make it make sense. Make it make sense, baby. Jojo. Oh, it doesn't make sense. You're trying to sell a book. You're trying to sell a book. And we're not going to have it. We're, I will not tolerate Christina Aguilera slander. I will not. So, anyways. <laughs> I went off on a tangent. Well, kind of, you know, and off ramps, but still on the on the route. I am going to put up the new, even though it's not even released, but by the time I have edited this video and it's out, you will be able to listen to the new 25th anniversary album from Christina Aguilera uh, um, in association with Spotify. So I think it's going to be exciting. I can't wait to see what it's about. I don't even know what the track listing is, etc. But go take a listen to her 25th anniversary album, which is super exciting. And go listen to uh, the debut album from Christina Aguilera. So, 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 so good. Unbelievable. Yeah, do yourself a favor and listen to that because it's really great. Anyways, let me journal and do some work. All I wanna know is if it's cool. If it's cool, I need some attention. A little something, something. Even though she takes me to know attention. All I wanna show is my attention. 
Yet, when we go, when we say goodbye, that's no, no, not yet, not yet. I really love having flowers, fresh flowers, in my home. It just, oh, it elevates my mood. It elevates everything about it so when it was my birthday and I received flowers it was just the happiest moment of my life uh, but all of those flowers and the flowers that I um, did from my previous campaign have sadly died but we're gonna go get some more let's hope that Dunkeld has flowers fresh great flowers now What's a the time? They normally have them delivered at one. Okay, it's two. We can, let's go see. Let's go check it out. a midday slump come on and I was just like tools just push through it ordinarily that's the time when I'd go get something that's sugary or sweet uh, but I just said just soldier on you'll be fine so then I drank my water and minded my business and continued on with my editing I do think that the midday slump is because I went to bed late and because I woke up early and before my alarm actually I woke up before it ran my body clock woke up at that time and it did feel refreshed but yeah hopefully when I do my nighttime routine starting at 10 then I should be finished done in, in bed sleeping by 11 no yeah I think that should work out but so you know I was watching that show uh, the secret lives of Norman wives on Disney plus last night ah uh, uh, girl <laughs> Oh my goodness, because I saw everyone talking about it on Twitter and I was like, what is everyone, why is everyone raving about this show? So let me just watch it and see what the hype is about. Oh my goodness, 911 phone calls in the first episode. 
someone's pregnant with a guy that she's just been seeing and Mormons and swingers. Oh my God. It's just that and more. And also, I do think one of the husbands is part of my family. The legendable cars, the how you do it? How you do it? Uh, so, it's a great show. I will definitely say that. It's very entertaining. I, I do enjoy it. I think it's really good. So, I may watch another episode tonight. But, yeah, we'll see. Do yourself a favor. Watch it if you love any of the Real Housewives, you're gonna love this. Uh, it's really good. If you enjoy Mommy Club, you're gonna enjoy this. So, yeah, uh, I'm gonna try soldier on through it. It's just episodes, of, there's only one season out. So, they all look the same. And I, I don't even know what their names are. I just know this one is a pregnant dancer. This one is the one that was in Hawaii with a gay husband. This one is sickly. Uh, she's sick. There's something wrong with her. That, uh, so, there's just... Kuning! There's a lot. That cucumber salad that I made earlier was very, very delicious again. And... But it didn't touch sides for me. So, I was also a little bit hungry. But does that mean that I need to make breakfast? Ah, oh, no. What a string. Oh, you know what? I'll make overnight oats. Yeah. I'll meet meal prep. I want to see if I can... Do I have mason jars? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfection! I do have mason jars to pre... do... Overnight oats. I think that will work out. What do you think? I think that's a good idea. That's a very, very good idea. Okay, dinner is now served. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We love that. No mess, no fuss. I could use, yeah, a dollop of barbecue, a dollop of, oh, just to finish the stuff, finish the tomato sauce. And remember, on this channel, we don't judge. I'm having one glass of Southern Rite. And look, it's a vast improvement from <laughs> how much I used to drink in the week. So I don't think one glass is, you know, going to break the bank. What's the expression? What's the right expression? The one glass won't kill me. And then we can see what these crazy bitches are doing in Salt Lake City. It's so crazy. Oh, yeah. And I saw that Nespresso is doing the pumpkin spice cake again, the capsules. So I think I'll go get those. I hope I can find them in store because that will be very delicious. And it's the best way to start the festive season, you know. It feel, I feel like nature's restoring itself. The VS, the VS fashion show is back. P pumpkin spice is back. Oh, it's about to be Christmas. Mariah Carey's defrosting. Oh, I'm very, very excited. And then it's going to be Thanksgiving. So, yeah, it's my favorite time of the year. I really, really enjoy it. Yeah, it's going to be very, 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 very festive. Okay, you crazy bitches, let's see what you're up to. Trying to figure out... Life. I ended up being charged with 
aggravated assault with three years of probation. The time now is at 2141. I know I said that I would start winding down at 10 p.m., but I'm ready to do it now, so why not? So I'm going to start the process of my nighttime routine. First things first, switching off my phone. And, and yeah, let's do my nighttime routine. Hey, Google. Play some chilled lo-fi music. All right, here's a Spotify playlist called Chilled Lo-Fi Study Needs. Perfect. to read a bit and go to bed hey what's the time it's 11 1 p.m okay yeah it's a lot better than last night but where i'm filming and doing all of this stuff breaking the fourth wall there we go again um it does take a bit of time anyways i'll see you in the morning good night you know what I can actually get used to this nighttime routine thing. I really like it. But I don't think I'm going to do it for the weekends. I feel refreshed and great and productive and amazing. Why is no one talking about this? <laughs> that night routines are amazing. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, I must tell you. I also used this Dermalogica product last night uh during my skincare the biolumin c night restore you will remember it from when i went to cape town for the ciroc events and i used the serum to brighten my skin and give me like a little bit of a glow uh so this does that at night so that you wake up oh it's an ah uh, uh, this baby i love her it's amazing, amazing, and my skin feels amazing. I woke up with my skin moisturized, still beautiful, gorgeous, amazing. Four drops is all you need, amazing. So that is, uh, yeah, highly, highly recommend. I don't know how and why lip ice grows legs and then disappears. What on earth? I had three Vaseline lip ice and they have just disappeared. I don't know where. Anyways, we are out of uh, the hot Nespresso capsule. So um, they have the pumpkin spice cake ones, which I told you about the other day. Which I'm going to get. And I am going to batch create content plan it out and then shoot it and then schedule it well hopefully i can do all of that for october 
and see how far we can do that. And I do want to do that for Instagram. To watch all of that and more, you'll need to click right over here. And if you want to watch other vlogs, you can click over here. If you have reached this part of the vlog, make sure you comment down below with the emoji. Uh, anything to do with the nighttime for the nighttime routine. But I'll see you in the next one. Good night. God bless. Goodbye. I can find a nigga who can handle I can find nobody that can manage you